One of the major parties in Canada has taken a bold move. The Liberals, the federal Liberals, have overwhelmingly approved a resolution calling for the legalization and regulation of marijuana. We're chock full of good news today. All right. Uh, in the past, they had called for decriminalization, as has the NDP in Canada. Uh, but now they are calling uh, for complete legalization and regulating of its uh, production and sale as you would with alcohol. This is seen as a, a very large step because no other party there or no anywhere else in North America has gone uh, to that point. And they correctly point out that, of course, uh, the drug war has been a total failure and it doesn't look like we're going to turn the corner any second now. And putting all these people in prison for using drugs, let alone uh, all the other absurdities of the war, is just insanity. Uh, and then after the resolution was approved, um, their interim leader, Bob Ray, immediately endorsed it. And remember, the liberals were trounced in the last election. Uh, they are down to just 34 seats in the parliament. This is a, an effort uh, to reinv reinvigorate the youth movement within the liberal party. And uh, they, this was proposed by the youth wing in that party. They also proposed um, cutting ties to the monarchy. Apparently, that was a bridge too far. So even the Liberal Party in Canada will not be going in that direction, which I find amusing. But of course, that's much more intertwined in Canada's constitution and hence is a little messier proposition. One day, cross your fingers, America will stop the Cuban embargo after 185 years of it not working. And maybe altogether we will stop the war on drugs. And at some point, Canada can disengage from the English monarchy. Dare to dream but very good news in terms of a party actually doing the right thing, even though it is considered very bold by the rest of us uh, in saying that drugs, at least marijuana, should be legalized.